we move on to sports, here's Charles Aruka. Welcome to Sports News. Nigeria's under-23 team have qualified for the men's football event at next year's Olympic Games in Brazil. Dream Team 6 picked one of the tickets for African teams after they beat host Senegal by a lone goal to advance to the final of the under-23 Africa Cup of Nations. The Senegalese dominated play in the first half and were awarded a penalty, which was saved by goalkeeper Emmanuel Daniel. In the second half, the team raised their game and created clear-cut chances and the pressure on the Senegalese paid off in the 76th minute when the Dream Team were awarded a penalty. Midfielder Etebo Ogenekaro slotted in from the spot to advance to Saturday's final in Dakar. In the UEFA Champions League, matches played tonight, eight teams joined others that qualified to complete the round of 16. Barcelona and Roma qualified from Group E despite both ending their matches in a draw. A hat-trick from French striker Olivier Giroud gave the Gunners a 3-0 win over Olympiacos, while Bundesliga champions Bayern Munich defeated Dinamo Zagreb 2-0 to top the group with 15 points. Chelsea secured top spot in their group with a 2-0 victory over FC Porto, while Dinamo Kiev grabbed the second ticket courtesy of a 1-0 victory over Israel's Maccabi Tel Aviv. Russian side Zenit St. Petersburg also progressed, despite losing 1-2 to Belgian side Ghent, who surprised bookmakers by making it out of the group stage. And that's it on Sports News. It's back to Ijoma with the rest of the news at 10. This is the ultimate redefined for men. As Europe seeks to recover from the horrific attacks in Paris in November, the police in France have identified the third attacker at the Bataclan during last month's violence. Here's Timmy Tokwe Fagwimi with more. Mr. Manuel Valls made the disclosure that the police have identified a third attacker in a radio interview, though he did not mention the man's name. Mr. Valls, however, did not dispute reports naming the attacker as French national 23-year-old Fouid Mohamed Agard from Strasbourg. Ninety people were killed at the Bataclan in last month's attacks. In Syria, rebels have begun evacuating the last district they control in the city of Homs under a ceasefire deal reached by the government. Those living in Alwai under siege for almost three years will travel to rebel-held areas of Idlib province. And in Europe, Time magazine has named German Chancellor Angela Merkel as its Person of the Year. The magazine cited her role in Europe's crisis over migration and the Greek debt. Islamic State leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi was named runner-up and third place went to U.S. presidential hopeful Donald Trump. Finally, Tanzania's new president, John Magufuli, has joined hundreds of residents in the main city, Dar es Salaam, to take part in a public cleanup operation. Mr. Magufuli picked up rubbish from the street outside the state house as part of the scheme, which he had ordered to replace Independence Day celebrations. And that's the foreign news wrap-up. It's back to you, Ijoma. Thanks a lot, Timmy Tokwe. And the main news again. Channels Television has recorded another milestone. The station has signed an MOU with partner Deutsche Welle of Germany to jointly produce a new TV environmental magazine program, Eco at Africa. The MOU was signed in Paris by the chairman, chief executive of Channels Television, Mr. John Momo, and the chairman of DW, Mr. Peter Limburg, on behalf of both organizations. And clashes in southern Afghan city of Kandahar have left at least 46 people dead. Well, that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks a lot for staying with us. I'm Ijo Mahwinyato. Do have a good night.